Hello Rust Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a special Rust video today. Rust news. Where have I been? Why haven't I been talking about any Rust news? Well, there hasn't been any. I've been saying this for months and months now that anyone expecting the beta to come out very soon, well, you kind of been misinformed and misled. I've had my little pop at other YouTubers, but let's face it, if you go and check out anything to do with Rust on Xbox or the PlayStation, in the last five months, you're going to come across a whole heap of videos that say Rust is coming soon, Rust beta to news and it's all just to get in the algorithm there has actually not been much info there's little bits here and there and we've gone over news when the creator of rust has actually tweeted or said something or we've come across some new articles i am interested in it i love hearing about this stuff i want to know when it's all coming but let's face it there's been a lot of shenanigans just to try and get some fake ass clout about when rust is coming today's video may not or may not change that but it does unlock a little bit more of the puzzle as to why rust hasn't appeared just yet and no don't worry i'm not going to bore you anymore with long intros but i need to get that out there hence why I've not been covering it every single week because I don't want to give you guys a load of bullshit just to get some views. I mean, I want views, but I want views on actual proper info. My man Spud, one of my OG rat bags, tweeted this at me today and I hadn't noticed this because again, I'm not checking on a regular basis as much as I used to, that it appears Rust is now appearing properly on the Xbox store. The people wondering, um, yeah, this screenshot appears to be from one of the alpha rings from the Xbox Insider program. Now I'm not that high up in the ring, but I have tried finding this on the regular Xbox on the store, and I couldn't find anything, not on the PC, not on the actual Xbox itself. I even tried changing regions. And like I said, I'm in part of the Xbox Insider program, but I don't think I'm part of the very early, early test rings. Um, if you've seen it elsewhere, let me know. But I think this is the first time I've actually properly seen this appear on the console itself. Now, we've gone through this before. If you go on the actual PC store, you can see some of the info about the Rust console edition. This is old news. This happened like way back in April. And it pretty much tallies up with everything on this site We've got the GB size, we've got the PEGI rating, 16, which I think is, is that the same as it was? Yeah, it says 13 and up, so it's obviously gone up a few, as it should. Rust is a pretty toxic adult game. But that is already another clue into them possibly being more closer to an actual release. But of course, the big news is, if you haven't realised already, is that it says Xbox Series X. Now, this may not be totally a surprise for some people with rust coming out at the end of this generation's life you're going to guarantee it's going to be making an appearance on a next gen we've already seen a whole host of games saying they're going to be releasing on the next gen and it's all just about whether or not they're going to be offering a free upgrade or some sort of paid shenanigans now we know the douchebags like activision and other companies are making you buy a special copy of whatever it is call of duty this year which pretty much lumps another ten dollars on top of it and that guarantees you a copy of the console version on the next gen. But other companies out there are giving it to absolutely for free. Cyberpunk 2077, Assassin's Creed, pretty much all the Ubisoft games. You're all going to be able to play on the next gen for absolute free. No upgrade costs. You get the idea, but this is, as far as I know, the very first proper confirmation that rust is going to be appearing on the next generation of consoles now obviously it says xbox series x it's not going to say the ps5 but we can take it for granted that it will be appearing on playstation 5 and it probably will be free to upgrade now, there's a couple things to digest here and i do this because i want to back it up face punch as a company aren't some scummy little money-making devs now i use that term lightly because no dev i think really goes out there to be money making it's the publishers and the big owners behind them that said these big higher ups at these devs companies they obviously want to make money because if they get bonuses if they achieve their goal they sell millions of copies they get clout and they get a load of money but it's fair to say that during rust development they have done more than most other games in terms of keeping the price at a moderate cost and not overfilling it with microtransactions rust up until maybe a year ago was under 30 pounds and it only went up by about 10% when it left Early Access back in, what, 2018? I think at that stage, it was £26. I do believe it's gone up now to about 31 I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's listed out on Steam. Yeah, £30.99. That's not a bad price, considering all the other survival games that you can think of, like Ark Survival Evolved, Conan Exiles, they're all much more expensive. And DayZ is even more expensive, and that game is an absolute shit show on console. So you get the idea. It's new news today that it is going to be coming to the Xbox Series X for guarantee. 
We still don't know 100% that it will be a free upgrade, but as I said, judging by the way the company have gone about their business in the past, only ever selling the skins or only introducing actual cosmetic DLC recently with the instruments and the summer gear, I think we can all safely say you're not going to have to pay any sort of upgrade cost for the next gen. You buy it on Xbox or you buy it when, and that means you're going to have that copy for whatever platform, whatever uh, system you have. But of course, exciting news from that is that could be the release date. Maybe they are actually waiting until November. We've now got the release date for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. 10th November, that's when it's going to go live. I don't think it'd be out the realm's possibility to say that that's when we're going to see Rust also go live. They'll want to also get on the bandwagon with anyone excited about buying new gen. They want to show their game off in the best possible light. And there's no better way to do that than being able to announce it and have the game ready for sale at exactly the same time as the next generation of consoles. We've seen it with other games. They've pushed back their release dates now because they are going to be going out at the same time. That's exactly what happened to Cyberpunk. So this could be why we've not really had any concrete information or proper news in the last four or five months. So that is my new prediction. I get it often questioned a lot. Jade, when's it coming? When are we going to see Rust? And rather than make stupid baity videos every week, I'll leave it a while until we get some new info. I told you guys that in my opinion last time, I wouldn't expect to see the Rust console beta until maybe September or October. Well, I'm going to revise that now and I am going to say I don't think we're going to see the beta release until November. I think once that's done, they'll have a two week period, maybe three of the beta and it will go fully on sale in December. That may seem crazy and if I'm wrong, I'll be happy because it just means it's coming sooner. But for sure right now, we've got a much better amount of new info than we've had in a while. The beta that's been running since April has purely been for the devs to test it. Gary confirmed it on Twitter, literally two days later, telling people don't expect the Rust console beta at any point very soon. But yeah, taking another look, you can see the approximate size is about the same. The age rating has changed. And interesting for me is that it's published by Double Eleven, but not Face Punch Studios. I guess I never really took as much notes to this before, but to my mind, that means Double Eleven actually own it outright. Sure, there's going to be a percentage, and obviously they're going to make a ton of money, face punch, but it does look like they own the actual property rights for it on console at least. Now, as a company that publishes games, they've not actually got anything huge under their label other than most recently with Minecraft Dungeons. Now again, mixing it up even more was they didn't actually publish that game, it was Microsoft, they just actually made it for Microsoft. Previously before that, a bunch of indie games and that they had taken over development duties for Prison Architect in partnership with Paradox. I know this might be boring to some, but I love this kind of stuff. I love seeing who makes these games, how it all works, how the business side of things happens between publishers and developers, because it's normally the publishers who don't care as much about the games as developers, they just want to make quick bucks. So they're a good port company. They've done some ports in the past and have made sure that a lot of them games have appeared on consoles like Goat Simulator and stuff. But this is definitely going to be one of their biggest and most complex projects they've ever undertaken. So it is still surprising to me that Double Eleven have the publishing rights for this rather than actual face punch. Also, if you didn't know, Double Eleven was actually founded by former members of Rockstar and they've got some big higher ups that used to work at PlayStation. So the connections they've got with both consoles are pretty good. They've obviously been doing work for Microsoft. They've obviously got them connections to PlayStation. I can't see there being any problems or issues. I don't think we're gonna see something launch on Xbox and then only see it come to console on PS4 months later. I think it'll all launch at the same time. Last time I really spoke about Rust on console was to show you a PS4 patches website, which pretty much lists every single game with every single content update it receives. So like the last campfire, which came out like a week ago, well, obviously it's appeared a couple of times now because it's had content updates or fixes. And yes, Rust does make an appearance on this website. Now I've gone over this stuff before, but just to go over why the release hasn't happened so quickly and why I realized that it wasn't going to appear this summer, this actually appeared on PlayStation back in like December, judging by the firmware needed. And since then, it's only actually had two updates. So in around, what, eight months? That's a hell of a long time to only have two updates. So clearly it was in no shape or form ready to go. And this is why I really believe that we weren't gonna be suddenly seeing the release of the beta anytime soon. 
and why I've been telling you guys not to watch any beta videos telling you otherwise. When betas happen, they will get updated a bunch of times before their release. And then when, during that beta, they'll have usually one or two updates too. When DayZ first appeared on Xbox, it must have had about five or six updates in the two weeks it was in beta. So that's the point. Don't expect it anytime soon. With this new screenshot showcasing that it's on, gonna be on the Xbox Series X, I really am not gonna expect this game now to appear until November time. I hope I'm wrong, I really do. I think October would be amazing, as I can just about fit Rust in my busy schedule then. And you may be thinking, oh, they can't go up against other competition in November, but let's face it. Rust and survival games are very different from the AAA single player experiences like Cyberpunk or Assassin's Creed games, and even very different from Call of Duties and shooters. The other games don't really come into it comparing how or what people are going to buy. As regards into what else we can expect, was a bunch of old interviews with Helk and other people that work on Rust talking about the future, and in it they mentioned they may have special PvP modes in the future, there will be story or mission based stuff coming. We've seen that from the um, commits page where they've been talking about adding missions and likelihood is it's going to be stuff like gather 20 pieces of sulfur or go and kill 10 bears. If it's more complex than that, I'd be very surprised, but yet yeah, missions are coming to rust in the future. Obviously, we've just had the update with the boats and the brand new ships and the canoes or the, the kayaks and rust is always going to carry on getting updated. And of course, one of the biggest things as well is that they're hoping to open up server transfers in the future as well, where there will be certain servers that you can jump in between islands. They're obviously getting rid of the current islands too. It's all going to be procedurally generated in the future to keep it nice and exciting for long-term players. So there we go, guys. Rust is coming. Fact. <laughs> I must have said that about 10 times this year. It will be appearing on Xbox One and the PS4 and it will be appearing on the next generation. We now know the age rating, it seems to be that's a more concurrent one, and that is a rating for Europe and the UK. And in my opinion, it will be releasing at some point in November. Agree, disagree, pop your comments and some proof down below. Keep me locked down for the best in survival games news, and I'll see you ratbags later.